guys, it's me Jackie from Makeup Game On Point. Farah and I have teamed up today to do a get ready with me tutorial. I'm going to be doing Nigerian style and Farah is going to be doing Indian style. If you want to see my get ready with me video Nigeria style, keep on watching. I started by moisturizing my skin with my Farsali Volcanic Elixir, which is amazing. And then I primed my skin using Benefit Professional, moved right into the foundation with uh, kind of like another primer. I use the Black Up multi-action CC cream just to kind of even the skin tone out and also so the foundation lasts a lot longer and then I use my Dior Star foundation on top of all of that. Now I'm going to be concealing under the eyes with a concealer stick. This one is from a Black Opal, probably one of my favorite concealers. And then I'm just blending that out with a damp beauty blender sponge and I'm making sure I get all up under those eyes. And then what I like to do just to make sure that everything is blended nice and properly is kind of go back in with my foundation brush and just blend out around the concealers just so that everything looks nice, blended, and married into each other. You don't even really have to add any more product. Just take the brush and whatever is left over on there from the first application. Just kind of blend around it. See what I'm doing? Now I've got to set the under eye concealer. So today I'm going to be using my Magnolia Makeup Plantain Powder. This is a new new. I'm trying her out today. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. So far it feels super, super, super soft. And yeah, I'm just curious to see how it photographs. So I'm just putting this under the eyes with my Beauty Blender sponge. I'm a huge fan of Magnolia Makeup products. So I'm not, I wouldn't be as surprised if it was as awesome as everything else I've tried. And then I always put it up and down the bridge of my nose into the forehead and then along my lower jawline because today we are going out. Ow! And hey, like I'm really, really going to be full on full coverage today. We're going to be moving right along into the eyes, but first, fill in the brows. I use my Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia in chocolate. And then I did just a little bit of extra refinement with my Spiked Brow Pencil from MAC. All right, now moving right on into the eyes. I'm going to start off by using an eyeshadow base. The one that I'm using is the Saddle Shimmer. This is from Mally. Love, love, love Mally's beauty products at the moment. So I applied the shimmer stick all over my eyelid. It's just gold. Blended it out. I took Bitten Eyeshadow, which is kind of like a soft burgundy color. And I'm going to be blending that into the crease. This is from Makeup Geek, by the way. So first I went in with a pencil brush and then I just blended that around the outer corners and around my top lash line. And then, like I said, I blended it out with a blending brush. I'm also gonna be traveling along the bottom lash line of my eye with that same pencil brush, but I'm going easy on the color. I'm not really adding more shadow. This is the definer shade for my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. It's that dark burgundy color. I'm going to be blending that color on the outermost corners of my eyes. Then I'm going to use the crease color from the palette, which is just like a soft gold. You can also use Woodwinked Eyeshadow from MAC if you don't have this palette because they're very similar. And I pop that on the eyelid. And then on top of that, I used a little bit of Raw Diamond Pigment from Magnolia Makeup. Beautiful, 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 beautiful pigment. It's probably going to be my favorite holiday pigment this year. It's so pretty. Then I'm adding some Sugar Pill Goldilocks on the inner, inner, inner tear duct of the eye. I really wanted the golds to help kind of complement the galea that I'm wearing. I did a very subtle, simple line of black at the top lash line using my BH Party Girl liner. And then I added my two favorite mascaras. So far and I are actually long lost lash twins. So when you see our videos, you will know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm gonna be using Dior Show and the Fashion Fair Bold Lash Mascara. By the way, Farah's lashes are way longer than mine. You guys think my lashes are crazy? Go look at her videos. So now my eyes are completely done, so let's go ahead and finish up our face by wiping off the excess powder I left behind, remember? We left that finishing powder. This is pretty much something that I always do. And then I powdered the rest all over my skin with the Black Up Loose Powder, which is amazing. Today I'm using two highlight powders. I'm gonna be using my Sublime Powder from Black Up and then on top of that, go really go in with some Soul Glow, also from Magnolia Makeup. I'm gonna use a little bit of Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder. I just hit basically the usual places, the contours of the face and around the perimeter. Then for blush, I used Black Up number 12 blush, which is a nice brown raspberry color. I finished the look by adding a burgundy lip pencil. This one is Courant. This is just a, like I said, dark burgundy. 
Then I finished the look by using the Ultra Matte Lip Cream from Magnolia Makeup. I am obsessed with this color. I've seen it on so many people. I had to pick it up while I was out in New Orleans this past week. This one is Matador. It's a dark reddish brown. And that, my beautiful, lovely ladies, is the final look. I'm ready to, okay, I'm ready to party. So you ain't gotta go home, but you do have to subscribe. I will see you guys at the next video. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.